One of these stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a vacation for two in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Which star is it? Debbie Reynolds, Jonathan Winters, Charro, <laughs> George Goebel, Marty Allen, Sonny Bono, Joan Rivers, Ben <laughs> Ford, or Paul Lind, all in the Hollywood Square. And here is the master of the Hollywood Square, Peter Martin. Well, thank you, Kenny, and good evening. Welcome once again to the Hollywood Square, nighttime version, that is. And hello, stars. Hello. Hello. We are welcoming a young lady from Detroit, Michigan. From Motown, let's make welcome Barbara Manwaring. Hi, Barbara. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to be Your here. Student? Right now, yes. And you are married to a sales representative. Right. And you love the Hollywood Squares. Love it. Well, good luck this evening. Thank you very much. And from Frankenmuth. From Frankenmuth, Michigan, this is Pete Zender. Hiya, Pete. Welcome to our show also. Pete is a bachelor, ladies, and uh, a sports charter travel agent. You like to play tennis and I'm sure win some cash here. I understand that Barbara won the toss backstage, so you'll start it all and we'll have a secret square game to start with after this word or two. We'll be back. Object for the players is to get three stars in a row, either across or down a diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if the stars give me a correct answer and make you one up. That's how they get the squares. Every completed game is worth $250, and in the first three games, we play for the secret square. Ken? And circle starts the first secret square. We'll jet you for a week for two at Posada Bayard in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Air-conditioned rooms with exclusive beaches, private villas with swimming pools, and continental dining with entertainment. Add to the fine service at Posada Vallarta, plus Prince Gardner, matching leather accessories, smartly styled, a perfect gift and a fine name in person with leather goods. Prince Gardner. Also, from Honeywell, the popular Pentax Spotmatic 35mm camera and Honeywell's Autostrobinar electronic flash that varies its light automatically for proper exposure from Honeywell. Plus, a $1,000 gift certificate from the famous Spiegel catalog with more than 500 pages, new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items, providing value, selection, and economy. Spiegel. Let's show the home audience the secret square. As you know, the stars are brief. Before the show to help them with the bluffs. Barbara, pick a star, dear. Good luck. George Goble, please. All right. What ruined... Ruined the Pony Express. Uh, uh, maybe uh, letters addressed to Hawaii. <laughs> would be tough. Yes, it would be. I'd give them oats at California because that's the last stop. That's it, yeah. uh, what ruined the Pony Express? Uh huh. Well, let's see, it could be railroad. I think maybe the telegraph. The telegraph. I disagree. That's exactly mm. it. The telegraph. You're incorrect. Your opponent gets the square. Next there for Pete Zender. I'll go with Jonathan. All right. Jonathan, nice to see you, my friend. Peter. You're an old woman in her 60s, and you've just started dating an old fella in his 60s. According to Dear Abby, is it okay for you to kiss him first, or should you wait for him to kiss you? You're in your 60s. Oh, I think both of them should know at 60 what to do. <laughs> uh, it, now, uh, it, up, is it, uh, what was it? Is it okay, according to Dear Abby, for the, the lady to kiss the gentleman first, or should the lady wait for the gentleman to kiss her? I think the lady just makes the major move right away. With women's lib and everything going like it is today, I would think that the woman would make the move. I'll agree. Yes, it's okay to kiss him first. All righty. We have two X's there, Barbara Manwaring. Charo, please. Charo! According to the magazine article, Parrots as Pets, who can usually teach parrots to talk better, men or women? Oh, you mean a parrot, P-A-R-R-O-T-S? Yes. Well, I had been trying to teach a parroquee for two years. Mm -hmm. I was trying to teach him how to say supercalafragilistiespialatosi. <laughs> well, <laughs> fi <laughs> finally he learned how to say, oh, shut up. No, it's true, I got a parroquee. It's women, we get more patient. Women, W-O-M-E-N. I agree. <laughs> Because the female voice is near to the pitch of a parrot. <laughs> and patience, too, however, the several feet. Ben Ford. That's the secret square. Pete oh. Zender here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, worth about $2,300, Glenn. What musical play was based on George Bernard Shaw's Arms and the Man? Was it The Chocolate Soldier, Babes in Arms, or The Happy Time? Repeat those, please. Sure. Based on George Bernard Shaw's yes. Arms and the Man. Was it The Chocolate Soldier, Babes in Arms, or The Happy Time? 
Babes in arms. Babes in arms. I'll go for that. No. <laughs> it was the chocolate soldier. I was going to say that. Yep. You know? Put a circle there. <laughs> Break for you, Barbara. We'll have another secret square. In fact, two more left in this game. Uh, I'll take Sonny Bono, please. Sonny, what great composer once told us in song, I get along without you very well. Hmm. Those words are familiar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not in any of my stuff, but uh, I'd say um, Irving Berlin. Irving Berlin. I'll agree. Hoagie Carmichael. Uh, Put an X there. <laughs> All right, Pete, your turn. Back in it. Uh, Paul in. Paul. Howard Cosell's lovely wife, Emmy, says that 10 times a day, Howard says something to her. What? Is my hair back from the cleaners? <laughs> <laughs> what does Howard say to his lovely wife, Emmy, 10 times a day, according to his wife? Uh, I hear he's a very, uh, you know, good husband, loving man. I would say, I love you. I love you. That sounds all right. Good for Howard. And you have picked yourself up $250. We're going to play another Secret Square game, and the two is worth over $2,000. Kenny? And X stars this second Secret Square for a Broyhill dining room, trade winds with bamboo accents, the new dimension collection featuring a round pedestal table, a china server, and five chairs from Broyhill Industries, plus... From Charm Glow, the all-new electric barbecue, a set of two. Real barbecue flavor, self-cleaning, no installation. Plug it in and turn it on. Dialomatic temperature control for precise heating. Charm Glow products and the Weed Eater is four tools in one. A trimmer, edger, mower, and sweeper. It does all this with a fishing line. Weed Eater, Houston, Texas. Plus four John Deere bicycles to give riding pleasure for you and your family, including their top-of-the-line 10-speed and unisex 5-speed. Both offer good looks and latest features from John Deere. Let's show the whole audience to Secret Square, and Pete Zender, you'll start this game. Nothing winner. Jonathan, true or false, the most common house pets in Tokyo are bugs. <laughs> mm. Common house pets in Tokyo would be bad. Yes, I would have to go along with that and say probably crickets. I said yes, that's true. I'd have to disagree. Yeah, all kinds of different insects are kept as pets in Tokyo. I guess there's no room to have a dog, right? They're we have on, a circle there for Barbara. Good start for you, dear. Uh, Sonny Bono, please. When an Englishman says that he's pranged his bumper, pranged his bumper, is he likely to be happy about it? When he's pranged, pranged his bumper? Is he likely to be happy about it, an Englishman? Well, I, sounds like it would hurt. Uh, <laughs> pranged his bumper. Uh -huh. Would an Englishman be happy about it? No, he wouldn't be happy if he pranked his bumper. I wouldn't be. Barbara? I agree. Uh, it means that he's wrecked his car. It's banging into something, crashing, pranging. Yes, with another circle and a commercial word. We'll be back. The player who wins the most cash during the show receives the following, Ken. The all-new subcompact Astro Bum by Pontiac. Distinctive styling, four-cylinder engine, high-energy electronic ignition, floor shift to transmission, overhead cam engine for overall operating economy. Astro by Pontiac. And to keep your car running smooth, Castrol GTX, the motor oil of champions for all models and sides of cars. Castrol lubricant for cars, motorcycles, and snowmobiles. Plus, Turtle Wax, one of the world's largest selling liquid car waxes. New improved hard shell formula. Cleans, polishes, protects in one easy operation. Turtle Wax with a hard shell finish. And another commercial word then, back to a secret square game. Pete, your turn. Paul Lynn, your house just burned down. Who was probably more upset, you or your wife? Oh, I am. I'll miss her terribly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, the man has to pay for the loss if the insurance company sure doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I, I would say uh, uh, women 
like possessions more. I think they would be more upset. The woman would be more upset. Yeah, I'll agree with that. No. <sighs> Women tend to keep their heads better in major crises, and it's the man. <laughs> now, let me ex explain. Barbara, Paul is not the secret square. I know you're looking for a bicycle. There are four of them up there. $2,000, in fact. How are you going to play it? I'm still going to go with Paul. All righty, for a tie game, Paul. According to Dr. David Rubin, what should you tell a 14-year-old boy who insists that he has no interest in girls? <laughs> Your slip is showing. <laughs> uh, what should Ru Dr. Rubin, what would Dr. Rubin? What would, yeah, what, according to the good doctor, what should you tell a 14-year-old boy who insists that he has no interest in girls? Which uh, um, bide his time. I, you know, it's, uh, some people don't uh, fall in love till they're mature sometimes. Barbara? I agree. Yeah, basically, that's it. You say nothing, really. He still has a lot of time to work up to an interest. Yes. All righty. We have a tie game on that night. George Goebel? <laughs> I've been informed that George was the Secret Square. We'll have another game right now. Kent? And this time, Circle stars the Secret Square for a Wurlitzer organ, the fun maker special spin at Mediterranean Pecan, featuring dancing chords, an exclusive feature helping to make playing easier and more fun. Plus, built-in cassette recorder player from Wurlitzer. Plus, when spots happen, don't rub them in. Lift them out quickly, easily, and safely with K2R Spot Lifter. Make K2R your home dry cleaner. And... Old world beauty in this genuine hand-knotted oriental rug of 100% wool pile in luxurious colors and design from Emser International of Los Angeles. Also, jeans from Ditto's, the people who invented fit. Next to your own skin, Ditto's fit best. Super low saddle pants, high rise, and the newest sensation banana pants. Feel the fit in Ditto's, plus the dependable Maytag model 606 giant capacity washer and electronic control dryer. Correctly launders any of today's washable fabrics, dries them with uncomplicated accuracy from the Maytag company. Let's show the whole one is to Super Square and Barbara pick a star. Dear, good luck. Jonathan Winners. All righty. Your baby just fell down. Now, the baby didn't hurt itself, but the baby keeps crying and crying. According to the book, Bringing a Baby, what should you do? Well, I, I tell you what, each person works differently. Mm. Uh, I would put the baby uh, back in the crib with a series of colorful pets. <laughs> and, uh, I, th I think that would work for a while. Put kitty and doggy in there and buy them. Um, <laughs> It's difficult to say. It's been so long. See, my boy's 25 and my daughter's 18. Um, I wouldn't know uh, what to do, really. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. What would you do? Would you like the question? Oh, I don't have any children, so I'll be here. All right. What the, 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 the book says, distract the baby, for example. Give it a toy or a cookie. or. Oh, then I was pet. right. I'm well, putting yes, the pets in there. accepted that. Yes, All right. All right. Back to Jonathan. That. What is the question? True or false? Actor James Garner says he's shrinking. He is. He's had a couple of series. I guess it's time. Um, um, he's shrinking. He's shrinking. True or false? Well, if he says that, I wonder how that's happening. Uh, I think that's possible, yes. Barbara? I agree. He says he's, he used to be 6'3", now he's 6'2". He attributes the whole thing to back and knee troubles. All righty, you with a circle. Beat your turn. Marty Allen, please. That's the Super Square. Oh, Number yeah. time. <laughs> this Secret Square, you lost the first one. Pete, this would make up for everything. Almost $4,000 worth. In 1947, when the Bedouin shepherd boy discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls, was he in Turkey, Jordan, or Israel? <coughs> well, he wouldn't leave the flock too far. He would, I would say Jordan. Jordan. I agree with Jordan. Jordan! All right! <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Big Zender. All right, you have one of the organ, Oriental Rug, a wash and dryer, and it's about $3,000. I had about $4,000 here, but they just made a ton. Uh, but that's not God. bad, $3,000. Now, we uh, will continue with Barbara picking a star. George Goble, please. All right, George, what's the greatest compliment you can give an Arab after dining, as his guest, that is? Uh, send him a thank you note <laughs> on a shell pest strip. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what? In some, in, in fact, I'm, I'm, we're almost bet on this. 
It's very polite after you have a dinner there, contrary to our etiquette, to uh, belch. Barbara? To show I, that you're satisfied. I agree. A hearty belch, yes. <laughs> With a circle and a commercial. We'll be back. Pete, it's your turn. Chato. Chato in the Catholic Church. Now, I know you were raised oh, by yes. nuns. Yes. Okay. Most nuns are required to take three main vows. Now, one is chastity, obedience, and what else? None in the morning, none in the afternoon, none in the evening. <laughs> Listen, uh, oh no, no, please, he's serious. Oh my goodness. Three main vows, chastity, I was, no. obedience. I was supposed to be a nun. I know. I tell you, really, but one day the man is the superior oh. say, get out of here, you're never going to make it. That's true. <laughs> but they get to take a three vow. Chastity, obedience, and shut up. Maybe silent or maybe, maybe, that's it. Silence. I disagree. Oh, poverty. Poor, poor, poor. Well, no money. That's all right. He disagreed with poverty. You got a little late, but we have the X there. And Barbara, it's your turn. Glenn Ford, please. What very famous line in literature follows this one? Here once the embattled farmer stood. And fired the shot that was heard around. Wait a minute. Here once the embattled farmer stood and heard the shot, the, the, the shot that was heard around the world, wasn't that there? Barbara? I'll agree. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Second. Please return. Debbie Reynolds, please. Debbie! The most talented young lady in the world, Debbie Reynolds, who incidentally is currently appearing at the uh, Desert Inn in Las Vegas. And nice to see you again. Our Las Vegas showgirls now regretting the silicone implants they had done in the past. Oh, I don't know, just that it slipped and made their ankles really big, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, medically they said that it wasn't good because it depended when they got their shot a long time ago. If they took the silicone, it wasn't as evidently as good as it is today, and it was kind of dangerous, so now they are regretting it. Pete? I agree. Uh, reports from Las Vegas doctors say that many problems are cropping up or down, whatever the case is. <laughs> From old silicone, old silicone. Barbara? Call in, please. For $500, Paul, where do hippos usually have romance? <laughs> Give me another question. Don't tell me the answer to this one. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I, every time I go to the zoo, uh, you know, they always have to sign their hippos, and they just never come out of the water. So I think... <laughs> the water. I, think I agree. Well, that's what it is, yeah. We uh, have it, uh, $500, Barbara Nadler. <laughs> We're going to clear the board right now and start this game with Pete. Catch-up time, maybe for a tie game. Uh, George Gove, please. George, is a pardon the same as having your sentence commuted? Uh, no. Pete? I agree. It is no. A pardon means you're entirely free. The other lessens uh, your term of punishment. With an egg. Barbara? Debbie Reynolds, please. Debbie, according to Cosmopolitan, is this a good way to meet a stranger at a party? Just go up to him and say, I have a headache, a very bad headache. Do you have an aspirin? Is that a good way? Mm -hmm. To meet That's a stranger. That's a good way to get to do something else. Not to get to do, but I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, I think that's a, a, a bore to walk up and meet somebody. You just she walk up and say, no. hi, my name is so-and-so, and you're charming and darling. She said that's a bore. I agree. In fact, they say it's tacky as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> okay, with a circle. Pete? Sonny Bono, please. The highest, the highest rating in the famous Michelin Guide to Restaurants is a three-star rating. Will you find any three-star restaurants in Italy? <laughs> What do you mean by that? Hey, <laughs> hey Sonny. Are you discriminating? Of course, yes. You'd find all the three-star restaurants are in Italy. So no yes, question. Well, Best food in the world. Not all of them, but some possibly. You say I agree. No, not even one is given that rating in the 75 book. In fact, with the thousands of restaurants in Rome, not one is even given a two-star rating. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Call in, please. Paul, I'll put a circle there, please. Thank you. What was Lafayette's first name? Mm. 
Um, <laughs> Tell you what this means. It's either fifty dollars for Barbara or that, Pete. Now I'll, let me—I'll I'll go back and repeat it. That is our buzzer for you home viewers who are new to the Hollywood Squares, and uh, it's worth fifty dollars. Paul, what was Lafayette's first name? I think it was. Uh, this may not be correct, but I think it was Delesseps. Barbara? I don't think so. I disagree. Marie, the dawn is bright. Marie? Marie. Marie Lafayette. <laughs> Marie Lafayette. Yeah. <laughs> but he was tough. <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to add up the scores. First of all, we have one X there on the board. That's worth $50 to you, Pete, Thank for you. a total of $300. And you want a secret square worth about $3,000. So it's been Thank a good you. evening for you. Congratulations to you. Pete Zender, our bachelor. Barbara Manwaring, a total of $650. And you're going to get to drive all the way back towards San Diego to Mission Viejo. Here you go. Uh, Kenny? Thank you. You're welcome. The Alders have come back after from Pontiac to Tinkless Valley. Four-cylinder engine, high-energy electronic ignition, floor shift to transmission, overhead cam engine for overhaul operating economy. Astro by Pontiac. Just to ch uh, chat with Johnny Rivers tonight, but we'll do it next time here on the Hollywood Squares. Jonathan has a new album. It's called The Little Prince. Sonny will be at Harris uh, in Tahoe next week, and Marty's at the Westbury next week. And we'll all be here next week to play the Hollywood Squares. Hope you'll be with us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Tonight's contestants will receive... The home version of the Hollywood Squares game. Plus, more than 800 big boy restaurants coast to coast and in Canada. Originated the Double Deck Hamburger. Big boy restaurants feature quality food with something good for everyone. And from Mary Claude, a combination of her spring fashion hats and sunglasses. Mary's new hats are hand crocheted straw. Her new sun specs are lightweight and dating. Also, recipe, the balanced dinner lassie thrives on good tasting meat, lots of it. Plus the other nutrients every dog should have. Everyday recipe. Prices and models of automobiles are subject to change due to availability. Tax and license not included. All airfares are based on high jet economy, Los Angeles departure, hotel accommodations, delivered to certain months and subject to availability.